guys, Dave here from Iographer. Today we're going to dive into the desktop version of Adobe Premiere Rush. Adobe Premiere Rush is a new editing tool uh, from Adobe, the makers of Premiere Pro, uh, After Effects, Photoshop, etc. Uh, if you watched my other video and if you haven't had a chance, please take a look at it. Um, I showed you how to use Adobe Premiere Rush on mobile. I think it's a game changing um, mobile editor. I love the fact that it speaks to the desktop version. And then of course we can go into Premiere Pro later if we want to. So let's see how we do all of it in Premiere Rush for desktop. We're going to import footage. Uh, we're going to edit. We're going to add text. We're going to add some stills um, and we're going to do some fun stuff. And then I'm going to show you how to open it all up in Premiere Pro if you have uh, Adobe CC as well. Let's take a look. So here is the, when you open up Rush, here is your, uh, your panel here for creating a new project. Um, so first of all, we've got to create a new project. So, uh, but before I do that, have you seen the other video I did? Here are my older, my, my other projects that I did um, on my on my iPhone. And I can click into any of these and I'll just do this one for example. And here's all my edits below. Here's everything I did. Here's my, um, my lower my lower third indicator thing that I did on Napa um, here's music that I brought in so all of it's here it all transferred over I'm excited you know I can keep editing here I could bring this into Premiere Pro if I wanted to I can take it from there from Premiere Pro into Photoshop um, I can take it into Adobe Audition if I wanted to do audio uh, fixing so it opens up the doors for a lot of things but let's start a new project. So I'm going to go here uh, and do file new project. And this takes us back to uh, step one. And of course you've got your options now to find all your footage. Here's the desktop. Uh, here's my documents. Here's downloads folder. These are my external drives right here. Um, this is my hard drive. Uh, here's movies folder, pictures folder. Then I can go into the cloud. So if I have my Adobe Creative Cloud and have stuff up there, I could put stuff into uh, from the Creative Cloud files. I can bring them in. I'll just click on them for a second. Here's some different folders that I have up there right now. Um, I can go into my Dropbox. I got a billion things in Dropbox. I can go into my iCloud, um, bring stuff from there if I want to. So you have lots of options to import footage um, into stuff like that. For example, if I go to my Movies folder on my iMac Pro, um, I've got a, let's see, where is it? Right here, raw footage. And then this is a bunch of footage that I have that, that I keep um, when I go and shoot and I import it on here. This is all my raw footage before I start to edit. Uh, for today, I wanted to kind of do something where you could follow along. So I'm going to go into the sample media here. So Rush has Rush soundtracks, which are royalty free uh, music, of course. And they have sample media here as well. So we're going to uh, choose some stuff from this. Um, this is a, uh, a boating expedition, beach kind of scene, snorkeling. It's really pretty footage. So um, we're going to do a little story from this. Now, when I click on, for example, I clicked on boarding the boat, a number one pops up. That's telling me that's the first video clip or still that's going to be in my timeline. So it kind of, at this point, you want to kind of tell your story of how you're going to lay out everything. Of course, you can go back later and change it all, uh, but you really want to do it here as well. So I'll click uh, uh, out of that one for a second. Oop, let me see. Click uh, on it again. It gets rid of the one. So looking at this footage, um, I kind of like, uh, let's see. This little water aerial thing is cool. It's like we're zooming in over this beach head. So I'm going to choose that for number one just to kind of open up uh, what I'm doing here. Um, and then maybe these people right here are talking about um, their trip. Um, and then we're going to get on the boat. So here's the boat right here. Or actually, I'm not going to go there yet. I'm going to go into um, another aerial right there just for the heck of it. Then we're going to go into um, getting on the boat. Uh, then the boat's um, starting to cruise and some more boat views. Um, and then, um, people on the boat, we'll just do that one. Uh, and then we'll go into, actually we'll go, we'll get out of that one for a second and we'll go into snorkeling, aerial swimming. And that's what kind of ended with this beach selfie. 
So now I've got nine pieces of footage. I feel bad for people on the boat because I didn't choose that one. But anyway, so down here in the bottom, it's all laid out across here. You can see it, the storyline. I'm going to go in here and, and, and do uh, beach, beach time. Uh, now underneath this, you see sync with, a, with the Creative Cloud. So now if I sync this up there, um, it allows me to open it up in Premiere Pro. I can go back on my phone and, and do, or my iPad, do some editing there as, as well. And something to think about this, all the iPads I've tried uh, Rush with, uh, it works fantastic. Now think about the new iPads Apple just released. I mean, you've got a 12 inch screen, the super powerful uh, guts inside of it. You're gonna be able to edit at will. So it's really nice. Now copy media, this is going to save. So let's say all this footage was up on the cloud, which I think it is. Uh, if I wanna save, uh, copy the media, it's gonna save it to my hard drive here. So I don't really want to do that uh, unless I had bad internet or, you know, things like that um, where I needed to have it for later. I didn't want to re rely on my internet going out. So um, copy media, I'm going to leave that unchecked. And I'm going to go over here and cr press create. And now it's going to uh, think about all the media, prepare it all, and it's going to throw it into what's called a sequence. So Adobe has a timeline here and you can see across here, You'll see 4, 8, 12, 16 seconds. Um, that is the timeline here. I can see at the very end here, I'm at a minute, minute 44. Um, let's say I want to go um, to a minute though, because I'm going to repurpose this footage um, into Instagram. And one of the powerful things about Rush and uh, for mobile and desktop is that um, it's got some great output settings for mobile that I'll show you later. And it's really one of those types of editors, I think, that you want to get something up quickly and and professionally looking, um, and you know to the right with the right specs and everything. So I'm I, I like this a lot. So now here we're going to take a look, and you'll see here's my footage. I'm just holding and scrubbing across. Here's everybody talking. I can see the volume here, um, and you know you can see all your footage like that. Let's take a look at our layout here. So up here we're in edit mode. This is home, edit mode, and share. Those are the three areas that you're gonna go into. Over on the right, we've got some tools here. This is a help button right here, or give feedback, I should say. Um, this is an undo, redo type thing. Um, here's your text, so we're gonna look at titles, how to add titles. Um, these are transitions, we'll take a look at transitions. And Adobe um, has some really cool um, samples there to kind of explain things to you now. It's really great. I mean, you really don't know to, need to know too much about editing to come in here and look like a great editor. Um, here's color, which I think is very powerful, and I'll show you in a second. Um, audio and uh, crop and rotate. And we'll look at audio for a second here. If I go back to this clip um, that has these people talking, and I go back to this audio section and click it once, um, you can now see that I have the ability uh, to raise and lower the volume. I can mute the audio if I don't want it at all. But the real power here is in the advanced area where I can now, uh, it's saying right here, it detects that it's voice. And let me just go over to one of these aerials here and click on that one. Let's see, that's someone there. How's this one here? Let's look at this one. And, uh-oh, let's see. We'll click right here. Oh, there's no audio, duh. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not working? There's no audio. Um, here's another one that has voice. Um, and you can change it here to like if it's music, if it's other, etc. You can change things like that. Maybe it's just a ambient sounds that you have. What's nice about this, and I'm going to show you, is that when you have it as voice, you can then uh, do something called auto ducking. So we're going to click out of this for one second, and we're going to go back into here. And now, if I had music underneath this. I'd have an option um, to auto duck, which means as the music goes and somebody speaks, it's going to automatically lower the volume while they're speaking and then come back up at the end, which is which kind of leaves it uh, so you don't have to do too much and keyframe things. It does it all automatically. In fact, while we're talking about this, let's go back in here um, and uh, the plus button up on the top left has add media. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on media. We're going to go here where it has the dreamland. 
which is an MP3. Uh, so we know it's an audio file. We'll bring that in. And see, notice where I had my time indicator here, the blue line that shows me where I am in the timeline. Um, the audio came right into that point. So remember, wherever you are, wherever you import something, that's where it's going to show up. So now let me just drag this to the left. And I'm just holding down um, the mouse and dragging to the left. So now I've got Dreamland um, shown right here. If I go back and click on this first um, clip here, you'll see that I have all these things uh, the same. Auto volume, it says voice. Now if I click on the Dreamland, you'll see that it says uh, it's music. So it automatically knows that that's music. And you've got a new feature here called Auto Duck. So let's click on that for one second. And uh, we'll reduce it by 50% or so. And now if I go back here, um, you can see it right here. It's made these little ducks. So, if, And what that means is it's lowered the volume. So it's hard to see on the left here with the Dreamland sequence. But if you see this little line that goes across right here, you'll see that it's lowered the volume. And, and you'll see, see over here how it's just a different color green than this. That's where it lowered it from, like that. And then when we're done, it comes back up to normal. So let me just play this for you for one uh, quick second, and then I'll see. I'll, we'll go down this area and listen. Whoop. And there it goes back up to the volume level that you want. So that is super powerful, cool. I love it. And you can change how much you want to duck it right here, uh, lower the volume by reducing, you know, how much you want to reduce it by. So you can go down to nothing and then come back up and, and listen to it as well. So that's a really cool feature that's in this type of an editor. Um, so once again, we're in here. Here's the timeline. Uh, let's go back to one. I want to shave some time off this, as I said. So this is super beautiful. I don't really want to kill too much of this, but... I'm going to probably need to take a little bit out. So maybe as I get to the boat that's down here, I'm going to shave this little piece off. What I can do now is just click and drag it to the left. That uh, allows me to cut it or I can just, or trim it. And I can just command Z to get out of that. Or I can use the scissor icon right here. So this splits my clip. So I'll click on it once and then I can go here, select that clip and press delete. So now I've gotten rid of that little area that I wanted and we've gone from this beautiful thing into these people talking. So now here's the point where I, where I might want to do a transition. So now I'm going to transition from this overhead shot, kind of a cross dissolve into those people talking. I'm going to go over to the transitions on the right hand side right here and make sure your playhead, your indicator right here is right in the, in the middle of the two. And then we're just going to do a little cross dissolve. So I'm going to click that really quick. And it's added a transition for you. Now we're going to click on that and play that. And there it is. So one thing I do know that I want to do is I'm going to drag this to the left because I want to start with uh, music here. And if you had a chance to see that, uh, it moved right here. It moved all my audio ducking over to line up exactly where this, uh, the words were, uh, the, the dialogue from these people. So that is a super cool feature. So now we've gone from music to talking again. Let's talk. Let's take a look. Yep. And that's fantastic. So we've made a cut. We've trimmed our footage. We've added a transition. Uh, we've added music. I've showed you how to auto duck. So let's move on. Let's see. We're now at a minute 40. So I've got a lot more to trim. And so we're going to look through this. They're talking. We kind of want to, they're doing a little uh, discussion about their trip. So we want to leave that in. And then here, you might want to cross dissolve again. So I'm sorry about that. I was going to kind of move it over to where I want it right there. And then I'll click on that. And there's my other transition and we'll see that one and here they go again that's nice so now I might cut a couple seconds out of this so this time I'm gonna click on it drag to the left a few seconds and let's see how that works 
just a quick little uh, uh, overhead shot and then we go right into that and I kind of like this without a cross dissolve it just kind of goes into there I like that quick cut and that's nice I can cut a little bit out of this so maybe we'll I'm sorry these last people aren't going to be seen so I'm going to do that I'm going to cross dissolve that as well so we'll go in here and you start telling your story and there we are in our trip it's nice um, now on this you hear the boat so I might not want to hear the boat so I'm going to select um, this footage here I'm going to go into the audio uh, section here and I'm going to mute that clip right there because I don't want to hear the boat the boat going let's play it again see it's nice and quiet I like it and let's see we're at a minute 36 so I'm going to trim this a little bit we're getting down there I can even go a little more than that. It's a little bit of a longer clip. And then maybe I'll trim this one as well. I see that to get down to a minute, we're gonna have to get rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> so let's see. Yep. And this one again, I'm gonna go in here and uh, mute that one as well. And there we go. Here's the guy snorkeling, super cool. I liked how he came out of this area. So I'm gonna go like about right there. I'm gonna trim this like crazy. So there's that. And then here's this overhead shot of him right here. So now I've only got this much left, so I'm gonna trim the heck out of this. Let's see what they say over here. So he says, oh, guy hates selfies. So not really an important piece of footage for me. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to press the delete button and I've got it out of there. I'm going to end this whole video with and go back to a minute here. Let's see. Where are we here? Are we at a, we're at a minute, minute point zero eight. So let me see if I can go. I'm just doing the keys here. So I'm going to go to uh, 59.29. I'm going to drag this over a tiny bit. I'm under a minute now. It's going to be great for Instagram. Um, so let's take a look. And I love this last part of the footage. You know, you can do some nice titling over this. Um, the audio here is a little long. Of course, you see it goes way over here. So we are going to drag it to the left. I could, of course, do a cut if I want. Whoops. Let's see. Not letting me select there we go nope not again <laughs> here we go there we go sorry so i'm dragging it to the left here and one thing that i can do is um let's see did it go we're going to select it again and drag it to the left now of course i could have just done a little cut there with the scissor tool and here you see that it auto ducks at the end like it's over. So it makes a little out thing here. So that's cool. Um, so it kind of does a, a fade right there at the end. I like that. Now let me just try something here. I'm going to go back here. And if I do the split, uh, if I select the audio and cut it and do this, um, it doesn't duck it. So or, or doesn't um, uh, do like a fade out. It just ends right there. So that's interesting. Um, so you have to kind of uh, trim it by pulling it to keep the whole piece of audio together to allow it to have a fade uh, to go out. So let's let's redo that again and see the little fade here at the end. So now I'm just going to keep dragging it. It's right here at the end of my video. And now you can see this little audio fade here. So that's great. That's good to know. I honestly did not know that till now. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to one here, the beginning of our video. So we're gonna start with this, fades in. These people are talking about their trip. They're so excited. And then we go like this, and then it ends with this epic aerial. And then I think at the end here, we definitely need like a fade to black uh, to make it a little more dramatic. So I'm gonna go dip to black, and I, I clicked on it, and it added a dip to black right there. And let me see, did it add one here too, I think? 
Yeah, so I don't want that. So I'm going to Command Z out of that. I'm going to go to this end of it here. I'm going to click on this. Oh, it's making it on both places. Hmm. I'm not a fan right now of that. Let me click none. Or maybe I can add both of them. Let's see. Go to the end right here. We'll do that once. Can I click on this one and delete it? Yes, I can. Okay. So when you click on a clip and you add dip to black, um, it's going to add dip to black to both sides of the footage. If you want to get rid of it, um, you click on the footage and then delete the one that you want to get rid of and it goes away. So let's take a look. So here's the guy. We probably need a cross dissolve right here though, I will say. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's go back to one. And we'll cross dissolve right there. And I don't need that one. There we go. So here, cross dissolve to the overhead shot. We're going to do some nice titles here and uh, and then it's got the music playing and then we're going to fade to black. Very nice. Okay. So now I'm going to go up here and go to the titles so I can pick a title. I just select it. Oops, where, here it goes. And it says my template. So if I have any templates saved in, um, in my local uh, folders or libraries as they show up here and eventually I will. I just don't have any right now. Uh, or I can do it to Adobe Stock and they've got some amazing... Uh, pre-made stuff. I mean, here's Tears of Joy. So they have emojis. Um, they've got this subscribe end card if you want to do things like that for your social uh, channels. Um, so I'm going to look for something fun. Here's five pages of it. We'll just sort through a little bit and look for um, something cool. Let's see. Always so difficult to, uh, to pick a good title. Let's see. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? I'm just going to do this uh, split direction title right here and we'll just put it on top and then I'm going to move it it's loading right now it's asking me for a, a font so I'm going to sync that font if I have a if you have Adobe uh, Creative Cloud you can do that if you don't um, you can just not use that font or download it and we're going to bring this back to the beginning here and we'll see how that looks so here it is so now I want to change what it says um, so I double clicked on this and I'm going to, I'm going to write, uh, uh, beach trip, a beach trip. And then under here, let's see, let's get rid of all this and I'm going to write Tahiti, Tahiti, uh, 2018. I don't know. It looks like Tahiti to me. Maybe it's not. And now I've got all this, I can select this and I can go in here and change the color. Um, so what do I want a little more cool green like that? Is that even going to show up? Yeah. So you can go in here and make some changes like that. You want different colors, etc. cetera. Um, I, the way you also can edit is you select it, go up here where it says edit, click on that once. Here's all your stuff. Here's beach trip. Maybe you want a different font. So if you have um, all these fonts installed, you can certainly use them. Um, let's see, what do we have? I like Babis New a lot. Uh, this has a nice little impact. And I'm going to resize that. And then uh, we'll do the same thing for the bottom. And let's go back up here. Here's Babis New. And we'll make that a little bit bigger. Eh, let's see. Make it to there. Uh, I'll baseline shift it down just a little bit so I can make it bigger. There we go. And let's take a look at that. Super cool. And then it just uh, fades away like that. So all of this animation and everything is all done for you in here already. Um, you can certainly go in there and and, uh, and play around with the, the types. Um, you can do line spacing, all that stuff, but they're trying to keep it super simple for you. Um, here's a little drop shadow effect. I mean, we can see how that looks too. Let's see. Whoops. Let's take a look. You can see a little drop shadow going on there. That's kind of cool. Might leave that alone as well. So they make it so simple to do change colors, change sizes of things. And these pre-animated motion graphics that are in here, um, those are things that you would find in Adobe Premiere Pro. So that is fantastic uh, to look professional. I thought that looked really professional. Now, if that's a little too long, so let's play it again. 
a beach trip 20 uh, Tahiti 2018 maybe I want to cut it right there I can also just drag it to the left so that all the animation stays in place and we'll just do that again and here it is and then it's gonna go away and it fades out now I can also drag it and make it longer and that's not going to affect the build in or build out of the animation it's going to affect the length of the animation or the length of time that the the um, graphic is up there so if that makes sense to you so you'll see here we've got the build in it stays there for a while and then um, you know right here is when it went out so it doesn't change when it goes out now it's going out because I have it at the end so that's cool uh, good fe uh, good feature sorry <laughs> Um, so we have that as well. Um, and then now let's look at color correction too. So you've got all these, like I said, you've got all of these uh, great um, five pages of it. And I'm sure they're going to add a lot more. Um, here's paragraphs, end cards, hearts, I mean, uh, mobile messages. So play around with this. There's lots of great things here. It's all free. It's at Adobe Stock. Um, that's super cool. Um, let's go back here for a second. And I like this coloring of all this footage, uh, but maybe if I wanted to change it, I would select the clip there and I would go over here where it says uh, color and click on that once. So now Adobe has all these presets that you can have. It also has something called your presets. And here's one that I had made before called Dave and Napa. And you can do what you want with these things. They just give you like a base start to edit with. Um, so for example here, I um, I've got cinematic. We'll click on that once it really darkens it up. This is the film look um, This is Kodak um, That's really pretty. Let's see go back out. Yeah, it really pumps up the greens there a lot um, This is a uh, beach bly uh, bleach bypass. So if you ever seen the movie saving private Ryan. It's that kind of a look um, Here's Fuji film these are monochromatic stuff, so really black and white. This is night, so it actually looks like it's getting dark there. Um, this is the Matrixy, and that kind of gives it a look that's like exotic, like Lord of the Ringsy kind of thing. Here's a gold tint to it. Totally changes the dynamics, right? And then this is something I used for my Napa, where I pumped up a lot of the uh, colors as well. Um, so I really liked, uh, what was it, the film? That was the Kodak one. I thought that was really nice. And then I can go in here and edit and maybe I want to pump up exposures and things like that. So I can, I can maybe make it a little brighter, change the contrast a little bit there. Uh, maybe lower the highlights just a tad, maybe bring some shadow into that. Um, so you can kind of see, so that's, that's after that's before and that's after. So you can see how color correcting can really boost things up. And once I like what I've done here, I can click right here, create preset, and I'm gonna call this, um, I'm just gonna call this Tahiti. So that's my Tahiti preset. And I like that. So here we go, it made everything look a little punchier. Um, do I wanna add it to this one? I don't know, let's take a look. Do I wanna go to my presets and here's Tahiti? Brightens it up too much, so I'm gonna probably not do that for this one. But let's go to the other footage where we're overhead. Beautiful footage, but very muted. If I do Tahiti on that, you can see it brighten it up a little bit and makes it look gorgeous and exotic. And then here's everybody here. We might want to do it here too. Look at how much richer it is there. So let me just show you that's, this is with no color correcting. This is with color correcting. And then we'll go a little further and we'll add that there too. It's punching up the colors. Here's another one. Look at how the blues really came out. Let's let's come out of that for a second. And how the blues really punched. Yeah, it looks gorgeous now. Um, we'll go here. Let's punch that one up. And one more. Boom. And then we fade it out. And over here, I might want to add another um, title here. Uh, let's go back into our titles and do. Um, Shoot, uh, let's see. Um, let's go back. I'm just going to do a bold message here. And uh, it's loading it. And we're going to do something like enjoy life. <laughs> uh, 
enjoy enjoy your oops your life and because I think you should life's too short and we're gonna change the color maybe I'm gonna do something I don't need it too bold maybe it's white um, and we're gonna bring it down just a little bit maybe I want it that big and then I'm gonna move my baseline a little bit can I space this out a little bit there we go let's see what that looks like now enjoy your life so you can do some fun stuff like that um, so lots of cool stuff happening here let's also take a look we kind of uh, avoided it but let's click on this footage right here this last part right here is where you can do transform stuff some basic things like moving the positions around and I'll sit hit this to reset vertical and rotation you can do rotations you can maintain your scales or you can make things weird and wide so things like that you can do here's where you can crop stuff if you're trying to do crops top bottom left and right um, maybe you have a different piece of footage that you want to stack on top of this footage which incidentally you can let's bring in a piece of uh, footage really quickly and um, I'll actually move my time indicator to the end right here um, I'm just gonna bring this in for a second and we'll import that and then I'm gonna drag this piece of footage on top of this footage and so now let me close this so now I can go in here and crop this so maybe I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna crop left to right and now I've got these two pieces of footage going so I mean you can do stuff like that you could also we'll reset this um, you can do um, if I go back into uh, where is it right here opacity so now I can lower the opacity and maybe feather the edge a little bit so now I've got this um, superimposed kind of look you know so you can do lots of stuff with this it's fantastic I'm gonna delete that and so let's just say we're done with this I love this now uh, maybe at the end I'll put another card that says um, follow me at uh, whatever iographer on Instagram etc so now I'm gonna go into share and here are my options to share um, what is my sequence name this is called um, Tahiti I'm just gonna call it that for now um, I'm gonna save it to my desktop documents um, I can change that by clicking on it here it'll pick uh, wherever you want to go 138 megabits is what it's gonna be uh, here's advanced settings do I want to do uh, full 4k ultra so on the desktop version you can export in 4k um, on the uh, mobile version you cannot do that so uh, do I want it YouTube ready Facebook ready etc you have options for all of that um, we're gonna go uh, out to say uh, we're gonna go out to YouTube in 4k because YouTube has great 4k stereo or mono custom quality do we want it high medium or low um, I leave it on custom and they come out beautiful every time down here it tells you the destinations the rendered videos and publish blah 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 now underneath this I can also get things set up so I can go I want uh, I'm just gonna go to local I want um, YouTube so I can click in here and sign up directly uh, to my YouTube account and then export it as I'm exporting it's gonna upload to YouTube same thing with um, Facebook it'll publish directly um, Instagram you have to save to your um, your ta your phone or your uh, tablet because uh, you cannot publish Instagram uh, directly but that's easy to do um, so that is all super cool so let's go back into edit so once you do that then you just press the button start surrender and you're good to go so down here on the right you'll see let me just select this first one you'll see the blue export button right here highlighted just click on that it starts to export um, and you're good to go um, let's go back into edit for a second and then um, where is it now let's see here oh another thing to look at on the far left here if you've got multiple layers so we've got our video and audio let's say we edited the video really nicely I clicked on this control track 
um, because I don't want to go in and, oh my God, I accidentally rubbed, uh, I went the wrong way on the video and I moved it out of place and now everything's messed up. You can go in here and click on the lock button and now all of this is locked. I'm clicking on it, I can't do anything. It's all locked. You can go in here, same thing with the audio. Um, I can mute this right here. I can target track for recording. So I can do some fun stuff like that. Now, one other thing to think about is if I want to add like a voiceover. So if I click the plus button here, I can select voiceover. And let's see if it's going to work um, right here. Yep. So here's my little red voiceover icon. So I'm going to bring it in a couple of frames and let's see if this works. Ah, the island paradise of Tahiti. Enjoy a beach trip with us, Tahiti 2018. And I stopped it. Let's see what that sounds like. And it also auto ducked there, if you can see that. So super fast, on the fly, add your voiceovers. Um, I think this is amazing. Okay, so now one other thing to think about is if I'm going out to Instagram on this, I might want to have it as a square video. So over here under the viewer, um, I can see these three little dots. If I click on them, they're going to give me an option for orientation. So now if I click on square, it automatically makes it square for me. It trims stuff down. I'm going to unlock this for a second and we'll just play through this video. And it does the best that it can with what you have here. Now I could also go in here, select that um, clip. I can go into my crop stuff and I can move the positioning around. So if I want to see more of him or more of her or more of them together, I can go in there and tweak stuff like that. But now I've got this great, uh, and then we'll see the end title here. It changed it so that it made it uh, fit into this uh, area to make square. I'm going to go back in here and do um, portrait mode. So now it's doing things like this. And I can go in here and expand this as well if I want to make it full frame. Um, so we'll scale that up like this if I want to do things like that. And then I can change the positioning around. You can do fun stuff like that. So lots of options here. You can also add titles on top of here in the bottom, which lots of people use for uh, Facebook stories and Instagram and things like that. Um, and then we'll go back to um, landscape. And let's see if this is back. Yep, everything is back where it should be. Um, I love this. It's a great editing tool. Um, I love the fact that we can now go into, and I'm just going to briefly show you, uh, if you're a CC user, how it goes into Premiere Pro. So we are done here. Um, everything is just saved because it's saved to the cloud. Um, while we're waiting, I'm going to open up Premiere Pro uh, 2019. Um, I believe we're syncing up to the cloud as we speak. So let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro when I come back, and we'll see how it looks in that. Okay, so now we've got Premiere Pro open. And one of the things you'll see that's new here, of course, the new screen, it's beautiful. But down here it says Open Premiere Rush Project. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to look around for Premiere Rush Project. And what do you know? Here's Beach Time. I'm going to click on Beach Time. And it's going to look around for all the Beach Time assets. And now here's my Premiere Pro timeline. Here's all my stuff here. There's all my audio. Here's the color correcting I did. And I can now do everything I want to. And I can click on things. For example, uh, maybe I want to do some kind of audio mix. So you have to kind of scroll all the way down. But for some reason, it brings in the um, song that you bring in. And it brings in... Uh, voiceovers and puts them all on the bottom of the thing at first I was like where is everything and you know you certainly can just click on them and and drag them up about 20 times and here it is we'll go one more and we'll go one more and there it is underneath it so now I know where that is I can select this one and we're going to go back up to this one and put it underneath this Oops, 
Oops, let's get rid of that for a second. I just messed up. We're going to drag it again. There it is. There's our voice over there. I'm just going to leave it where it is right now. Um, and now we can see all of it. We can see the ducking right here. Everything transferred over beautifully. I can now um, go in here and uh, go up to Premiere Pro, for example, and do, um, uh, where is it? Let's see. I'm going to select um, Adobe Dynamic Link. I can bring in an After Effects composition. I can go in here, right click on my um, voiceover, edit it in Adobe Premiere Audition. Maybe I don't like the way I sounded. I want to tweak it a little bit. I can bring in the music in Adobe Audition. Um, so I've got lots of options here. Um, I could take stuff into After Effects. I could bring a Photoshop file in here and animate it. Um, so being able to go into Premiere Pro, if you really want to take your videos to the next level, um, is amazing. That being said, you don't remotely have to do this. You can be completely fine in Adobe Rush. Um, I think it's a powerful tool. Adobe Rush is $9.95 a month, $9.99, $9.95, something like that, a month uh, for mobile and desktop. So you've got this, both versions. I love that you could be out somewhere filming um, on your phone or iPad and then uh, and soon Android, I guess. And then you can come back and edit on the road. And then if you want to tweak it when you get home on your big computer or your laptop, you open it up and you start doing the tweaks. So I think it's a really, really powerful tool. Um, some people have said uh, some of the other editing tools like Luma Touch and whatnot, which are great tools as well, have chroma key ability and whatnot. Um, if you need that, I get it, you know, use it. You could certainly shoot the chroma key stuff and then bring it into, um, into Rush and have it all edited and then open it up in Premiere if you're a user like that. Uh, but if you really need um, your chroma key and whatnot, um, on your mobile device, then yeah, LumaTouch and, and uh, KineMaster are great tools um, to use for that. I wouldn't be surprised that Adobe didn't add a uh, chroma key feature in the future to this as well. Um, check it out. It's at Adobe Rush. Uh, if you go to uh, adobe.cc or Adobe Creative Cloud, um, you'll find it. And um, I'll put a link below in the comments. But I think it's a cool editor. I like it a lot. Um, it's very simple. If you're just getting into doing this, um, it's a really powerful tool to use. So please leave a uh, comment below. Let me know if you like this video. What do you think about Rush? Also, this is a longer video. Would you rather see broken up into little five minute videos or are you fine with one immersive kind of class like this? Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave Basulto. Keep creating better content.